What you are is God's gift to you. What you make of yourself is your gift to God. The truth is that everyone has potential. The truth is that everyone has more potential than most of us realize. The truth is every organization has more potential than is ever tapped or used or fulfilled. In fact, if you think about it, human potential is the one, the only limitless resource we have in this world. But it is truly limitless. And it is amazing what happens when human potential is unlocked, untapped, focused on worthy goals and common purpose. Why do people fail to realize their potential? So many of us fail to fulfill our full potential. Why is that? Well, sometimes it's because people are afraid, afraid to take a chance, afraid to take a risk. Sometimes it's because people never have the chance because of subjugation or deprivation. Sometimes people have the chance, but perhaps they don't have the tools, they don't have the training, they don't have the education, they don't have the opportunity. Sometimes it's because, honestly, people lose faith. They lose faith in themselves, they lose faith in others, they lose faith in God. There are things that crush potential. Bill Hybels was talking earlier about the kind of managers that crush the spirit and thus crush potential. But what are some other things that crush potential? Let's start with bureaucracy. Bureaucracy in any setting, politics, business, charities, bureaucracy crushes potential. Why? Because the people who work inside a bureaucracy, which is, after all, a rules-based, process-driven, hierarchical organization, people who work within that bureaucracy get the message. And what's the message in a bureaucracy? Follow the rules. Stick to the process. For heaven's sake, don't use your judgment or take a risk. If you've got a tough call, send it up the line. It crushes the potential of people inside a bureaucracy, and bureaucracies always turn in on themselves. They start to have turf battles. They start to worry and argue and scheme over all the stuff that goes on inside. But worse than that, bureaucracies forget who they are there to serve. A business bureaucracy will forget its customers. A government bureaucracy will forget its veterans. Bureaucracies crush potential of the people inside them and the people they are intended to serve. It's important to think about. If human potential is the one, the only limitless resource we have, the one, the only limitless resource that can really solve problems and tap opportunities, if that resource is human potential, and if we know the things that crush it, fear, subjugation, bureaucracies, what unlocks it? What unlocks it? Because everything I know from my life, every experience I have ever had, tells me, has proven to me, that when you get human potential untapped, when you focus it, on a common goal and motivate it to achieve a worthy purpose. Everything truly is possible. And there are so many examples that we learn every year here at the summit of exactly that happening. What unlocks potential? Leadership. Leadership. In fact, the highest calling of leadership is to unlock the potential of others. Now let me explain a bit, because it may not be the definition of leadership you are expecting. People get real confused about leadership, in my opinion. We call a lot of people leaders who are not leaders at all. So let's talk for a moment about what it actually is and what it is not. Let's start with what it is not. Leadership is not management. Management is really important. 
But what is management? Management in any setting, management is the production of acceptable results within known constraints and conditions. Management is the production of acceptable results within known constraints and conditions. It's important to have good managers. And a good manager can be a leader. And a leader can be a manager, but management and leadership are not the same. In a business setting, I would describe the differences this way. A good manager produces good results within known constraints and conditions. Whatever the competitive environment is, you produce good results within that environment. A leader says, I'm going to change these conditions. I'm going to change the position of my organization. Leadership actually is about changing the order of things. What's another thing that management is not? Well, when I was a secretary, I thought the guy in the corner office was a leader. And as I made my way up in big bureaucracies in corporate America, I continued to think, well, the guy by the way, they were mostly guys. The guy in the corner office must be the leader. And then I figured out that there were lots of people in corner offices who had never led a day in their lives. And I saw other people who had no office, no perks, no titles, no big budgets, no big organizations, who were leading every day. I think of some of the women we serve in Opportunity International, women in desperate and destitute circumstances who become entrepreneurs, who imagine a different future, who say to themselves, I am here, I want to go there, to quote Bill Hybels, and who take resources and lead because they change the order of things for themselves by becoming entrepreneurs, for their families by choosing to invest those resources in their children's education, for their communities. That is leadership. Leaders change the order of things, and it does not matter if they have a title or not. Now, if you doubt that, let's think about some examples. Leadership is not about position and title and power. Leadership is not the same as management. Leadership is about changing the order of things, and in particular, the highest calling of leadership is to unlock the potential in others.